when I uh, came here, it was in 1970, and we had, we were dairy, farming, milking. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a, night, that's a morning and night job, Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Christmas Day, it's a full-time job. So because it has to be done. It has to be done, mm -hmm. yeah. So it was hard enough now. You know, the hours were long. You didn't have very much of a social life in the evening because um, sometimes even though the cows were brought in early and the milking started, sometimes there'd be something would crop up and if you had something planned for that night, you'd have to just um, forget about it. You had to be, you had just to realise that uh, work as a partnership. I found in the early days that you didn't really have, you wouldn't never have, a, you would never have a holiday because uh, the milking had to be done and it was very difficult to get someone to stand in and milk yeah, for um, you, yes. Nowadays you have uh, people who do that, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. but in those days you hadn't. So we would get a couple of days off the children and we had someone, a very reliable person who would cover for us, but it was only for a few days. Well, whenever I moved up here, like I never, I didn't have any experience of farming, mm -hmm. and at that stage, Kevin was been milking right, as well, yeah. and like I came up here, I was twenty three years of age, and now here longer than I ever was at home. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, I would never go back to it, but it was quite a contrast in that there was there's a lot more houses now than there was then, and to look out, oh, you could see it was pitch black. That's right. It was. That was the same for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No houses. And like that, Kevin would have been going over early to do the milking, <coughs> and he would then go on to his own job, and That's right. yeah. I would have my own job, mm. and then you come back, and the milking would have to be done in the evening. So you could get till <coughs> eight o'clock in the evening, and you might not have seen a sinner soul if you didn't get involved yeah. in the farm. <coughs> I think that's what drives a lot of people to get out and do something because. You're not a lot of you sitting in the house. If there's work to be done, you, you're very, you know, getting involved. And then that's how the children get involved from an early age. We used a lot of eggs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then we grew our own vegetables. And that's right. We had yeah. our own potatoes. potatoes yeah. We had our own milk. So that's right, yeah. It was a big thing that mm -hmm. when you had a big family, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was always something to do. Yeah, always busy. Did you kill pigs at on the farm? We did. Yeah. Well, a few pigs, so I was thinking. Yes. We, we had a place called the Pig House. Right. And the Torpy House. All oh, right. Very <laughs> self sufficient. Yeah. yeah. Whenever I got married, we got a wedding present of seven hens and a hen house. And I have never looked after hens before. And that was the first thing that struck me when you go over to feed them. They would just come at you. It was just like food. I didn't realise just how greedy they can be. They, can, they just keep at you and at you yeah. and at you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had a notion of this leisurely stroll and mm -hmm. hens all around you nicely. Didn't expect it to be just so vicious. <laughs> but they didn't. Well, we called them, we called them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. That was their names. And they lasted probably about... Three months before fox, the fox caught yes. them. <laughs> In my work, uh, a lot I, I had a lot of uh, cooking to do, you know, and, and uh, meals to make for men who were working on the farm. I seemed to be making a lot of meals, especially at the time when the silage would be done, and I was working as well. Mm. At that time, um, the dinner as you uh, we call it, the main meal, that was always at, in the middle of the day, one o'clock dinner. Now it is, some people have dinner in the evening, they call it, it's an evening meal and it's lunch in the middle of the day, but in those days it was dinner, and it was a full dinner to have. And, um, yeah, well, no matter who was working at the house, they got their dinner as well. Oh, so it was, mm -hmm. you never know, you could have had more than you expected for the dinner well, in certain days. that still continues. It does, it does. It still indeed. continues. I would make a joke in our house, like because the only two days that our, the dinner would be made in the middle <coughs> of the day would be a Saturday and a Sunday at one o'clock on the dot. And because we would have several people working around, mm. you never quite knew how many, how many was yes, going to turn up. I know. 
as yes. the way we used to say to Kevin, we'll should go down the road there and see if you can find anybody else to come. <laughs> Surely there's a big pot of stuff mm -hmm. here. You can probably find somebody who wants their dinner. Brady, you'd remember the, the tea in the field. Yeah. And it would be in a bottle, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it, as a child, I can remember getting that. And it just was lovely. The tea, it just tasted lovely when you got it out in the field. Mm -hmm. It was a picnic, but you didn't know it was a picnic because you were working. It's easier now, in a way, because the, the machinery is so advanced. And, and the wash machine was the biggest thing that ever I got. And yes. it was a twin tub. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, that's the one, the, yeah. the two lids two at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And you put them in to wring them out. Yeah. It was a, a mango thing. That's right, mango, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Well, that's probably why I we never... But we, we never got to the water end of 1970. Yeah. And the, we had the farm for a long time. Yeah. So then when you've got the water in, how much easier did that make life for you? It made it an awful lot easier, I would say. Well, you didn't have to go out and carry it from the well mm -hmm. and fill up a boiler and put it on the cooker mm -hmm. for washing. Yes. And I'd always wash the baby's clothes first. It's so yes. great to see a line of nappies mm -hmm. blowing in the wind. Yeah. I always thought that was nice. You know, yeah, now it's always so nice. Yes. With no um, mm. hard work. It's more work. Yeah. Yeah. No, nappies, no, no, yeah, but then like the downside of the disposables is yes, it makes life easier for you, but it's far more expensive. That's right. That's right. To keep it going. Yeah. You know, yeah. like you imagine you'd what twelve children? Mm -hmm. Imagine twelve of them in disposables. You would never have been able to afford it. So your nappies would have been good. Like in contrast, like you have twelve. I have two. You know, so I uh, I know myself that um, them growing up, it was more expensive. You know, and, and all. Not that that made any difference. But the machines are so advanced now, aren't they? They're much bigger. Check, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're more dangerous. Right. Again, it's still I still find it a little bit a uh, bit stressful. Uh, you know, when they're at silage or spreading slurry, it's the atmosphere of work that's around you. You know, yeah. and you, you don't relax until it's all over. Yeah. Yeah. You still have that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, but I think because farms now are bigger mm -hmm. and they're more, it's it's more about, they have to be more efficient, they yes. have to be more, um, th there's more, um, what would you call, it? rules and regulations That's as well, right. oh, yeah. so they are feeling the stress mm -hmm. and I know for us, because we're both out working during the day, like so you're, you're it's management of time, it's trying right. to get filled yeah. in and mm -hmm. opening around it and still be able to go to your job and still be able to get yeah. things done. It's hard to work and do all that. It is because you're always, it's, it's it's done after yeah. hours so you know it's not that you're, you've got all day to get it done, yeah. you're trying to fit it in in a window. Mm -hmm. and at least that him, women stayed at home. And yeah, well, there's <laughs> nothing else for you, you yeah. have to stay at home. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. That's the way you put in your day. And I don't know that I know that t uh, time has made things easier, but it, yeah. it hasn't. There still is a lot of it still involves a lot of hard work, but especially when you go out to walk as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think that would be the biggest difference. No. Yes. Well, it's not that just every day is available yeah. that you can just say, okay, so today we're going to do this. Nowadays, what we would do is what you're doing Monday to Friday is just your basics getting it done, what mm. needs to be done. Saturday it's and Sunday is the big day, yes. Saturday is the huge day. A busy day. Yeah. Everything that has to be done, mm -hmm. done would be put to that Saturday because that's the only day that you have that you can, you know, but everybody's off. off. Everybody's off, yes. and that's when you'd get the help. Mm. Like yeah. with us now, it's got to be, um, well, you know, you're, just, ahead, yeah. you're, you're ahead. always planning ahead. Yeah. Always. yeah. And, getting all your jobs done, it's, it, you have to Think ahead, organize it. Time, like yeah. for if we have a TB test or something done, yeah. we're trying to plan it for the Halloween holidays That's because right. there'll be more, are, more yeah, help, people are you know. Right. In your day, would you have the same level of stress? Would, you know, I don't think so. No. Somehow you just took it all in your stride, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It was what you did and you put up every day and did it. And, and kind of everybody was the same, I suppose. Yeah. You know, yeah. 
And so did you think that the fact that you were like uh, carrying water and uh, having to say go after the, the turkeys and all that work, but did it keep you mentally um, saner? I suppose it was a bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're always thinking of what you had to do next. <laughs> and they were fitter too, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, people well, were riding bicycles. I think that's that the thing. Yeah. You, you, you could. Um, you didn't have to go to a gym. You could fly about that. that. That's right. I can't fly about now. You can fly about very well. Yeah, indeed. You can recycle to the dances and yeah. walk home again. Yeah. Yeah, so you walked there, danced and walked home again? And the second, when the dances were late, uh, they were on to 2 o'clock in the morning in those days. Mm -hmm. and I That's very late. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you mean you, from 9 o'clock, let's say 10 o'clock, yes. it started to 2. Yeah. yeah. Whereas nowadays the they're only really getting started. They <laughs> only got started at half 11 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was good. But the no, people clearly did the visit that time, didn't they? At the, in the dance hall, it was a cup of tea. The woman across the yeah. road made a cup of tea. <coughs> and somebody treated for a cup of tea. It wasn't a drink, perhaps. Yes. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. But uh, the people clearly did a lot, you know. Yeah, they did. And that yeah. has all kind of stopped now. Yeah. Yeah. They visited each other. They visited each other, yeah. They went on the clearly. So the woman said that to me, they were not long, but she says, she says, of course, I. She's at um, in the house on her own, and she says, not one ever calls the right. right. Yeah. Mm. She says there's such mm. change. It it is. Is. Yeah. 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 Well, mm. I would say that too, because whenever I come up here, I didn't know anybody. Mm. You know, and so you had to get out and meet people, and mm. you know, that's where it was I think, lonely coming from a, a town, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so it was different. Like mm. you know, and because I was used to always being a worker, you know, whenever yeah. I was at work. I would come home, I would work to my father's video mm. shop. So like we would have been working to ten o'clock at night. Mm. But there was always people to talk to. Mm. So then to come up here and you don't know anybody, you had to make a physical effort to go out. It must be. Uh, so I, I find the same. When I came here it was very, very quiet. No nobody came to see you. You had yeah. to work as you said. I had to do that too. Yeah, well that's why I think that I the wall centre that we have is yeah. a great job because mm. you're going there and you meet like-minded people mm -hmm. and they're always running courses so you always find something right. that interests right. you right. and then from that you meet people and that just broadens i play cards on a sunday night just and is that like is that like a, a stress buster are you do you go out to play cards or just with no we quite it well you're, you're with the same people every yes. sunday yeah. night you know yeah so you're a bit of company and yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah no, that used to happen a lot in the older days, you know, the people played had cards. It still happens here, I think. Uh, I think it does, but I think I definitely think one. families are more um it's more about oh, getting in and, and sitting down and closing yeah. the door and yeah. you know maybe more watching television. That's what yes, happens. watching TV after downtime. Killed all the, the conversation, yes. hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It has, yes, yeah. it has. Even with children too. And you'll find now children... And these, and the phones. Yes. Oh, yes. The farm was a good place for children to, to grow up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what um, the nun said to me. She said, like, they feel part of the life, you mm -hmm. know, yes, yes. because they're involved in yeah. it. Yeah. They don't have their jobs to do, like... Yes, yeah. and but it's, it's a great responsibility. Mm -hmm. It teaches them to take responsibility for things. But with all this, yeah, they have to problem solve because they have to think on their feet and all the things, you know, they learn what comes next and or second guess if something goes wrong. So I think it's a great life lesson. You know, they've learned a lot without even realizing that they're learning it. And that's the truth. Yeah. And they can see the cows calving. And yeah, I had never seen a cow calve until I came to live on the farm <laughs> as an experience. Mm -hmm. If you were to give advice to somebody starting out, say just coming to live on a farm, mm -hmm. what advice would you give them from what you've learned in your time? Well, as I said, it is a, a partnership. You know, you'd have to, um, you know, give a bit of leeway. You just have to work together. And be prepared for disappointments because you will, you will get disappointments. Yeah, you might have something planned, 
and uh, something could happen on the farm or you might have to get a vet for an animal and you might have to scrap that. Well, if I was to give advice to somebody starting out, like when I did, I would just say, worry less and laugh more and because yeah. it all works out in the end. It does. Mm. You know, and you're only making life difficult for That's yourself. Right. You only fight mm. against yourself. So that's what I uh, know that I worked with it. She used to say that. She used to say, people worry about things and everything's going to work that's out right. in the end. Yeah. 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 Well, I think, I think really the things we have to worry about, we haven't even thought of yet. Mm. And the things that we're worried about doesn't happen. It doesn't happen at all. So there's no point worrying about them. So I just wish I'd learned that yes, a little bit yeah, earlier. Yeah. I had 36 great grandchildren. <laughs> and how and new generations. So what advice would you give them? Huh? What advice would you give them? You don't listen to me. <laughs> 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 huh?